I was a side administrator at the Rowe Hotel. So in the hotel, we have close to 5,000 migrants. If anything involving this hotel, I was helping run it. Everything ranging from doctor's visits to medication is paid for for the migrants. Anything you can possibly think of, it's being given to them. Car seats, cribs for newborns. Uh, there's, I want to say, at least two to three babies a week being born at this hotel. The migrants being in those hotels have destroyed them. There's a lot of alcohol in these rooms. Housekeeping is there all week. And they'll clean it, and by the end of the night, it's it's there's kids getting drunk together. There's people hooking up with each other. There's multiple guns in these rooms as well. The alarming thing is that this hotel is meant to be a family hotel. You were actually showing me some text messages between a social worker about a drunk 10-year-old in this hotel. Can you talk to us about what happened there? Yeah, it was a drunk 10-year-old who was caught with a 14 and a 12-year-old, and all three of them were intoxicated. And when we looked them up in the system, the parents had checked out two days ago. So their parents just left them there? Yeah, the parents will leave the kids unattended in the hotel. We heard a security guard start yelling, uh, there's a gun on site, there's a gun on site. It was probably an upset person that we had kicked out of the hotel. I myself had been assaulted. I've seen other people get assaulted. I've had threats saying, you know, we'll be waiting for you guys outside. There's been times where staff has had to be, you know, escorted to their cars, to their to their trains. Because the migrants are threatening them. Yeah. Often at times there was migrants causing chaos with, with shoplifting. The one instant where I showed you that video, uh, aside from being caught shoplifting, they started getting physical. And a lot of the times it was, you know, go calm the migrant down, get them inside the hotel. I've been doing this for five years. And in my five years, this has been the worst experience by far. The city of New York does not know what they're doing, and it's only going to get worse from here.